The Linux kernel has only ever supported one language, C. But that all changed in 2020 when work began to allow Rust to be integrated into the Linux kernel. And while progress has been slow and steady, there are other parts of Linux that are being completely rewritten in Rust, like entire desktop environments. You see, the Linux kernel is only a small part of a complete Linux operating system. On top of the kernel, you have the system software layer, which includes command line utilities, system libraries, package management tools, and more. On top of that, you have the desktop environment layer, which provides the graphical user interface and determines what the visual style and user experience is like. And then on top of that, you have the user applications layer, which includes things like web browsers, office suites, media players, and other high-level software that users directly interact with. And all of these layers are packaged together into a Linux distribution, or distro for short. And there are endless choices to pick from depending on your use case. For example, if you don't have a single ounce of personality, you would use Ubuntu. If you like to pretend that spending all your time configuring your operating system makes you a better developer, then you would go with Arch Linux. And if you're too dumb to use Arch Linux, you would go with Manjaro. But today I want to focus on a Linux distro that is heavily investing in Rust. Pop! OS is developed by a company called System76, a computer manufacturer specializing in Linux-based systems. This distro focuses on providing a streamlined, productive environment for developers, scientists, and content creators. Going back to our layer architecture diagram for Linux, you can see that one of the layers of a distro is the desktop environment, which provides the graphical user interface. Historically, Pop! OS's desktop environment environment has been a customized version of GNOME. GNOME is a popular open source desktop environment which focuses on clean and minimalistic design. And although GNOME has served Pop! OS well, in 2023, the Pop! OS team hit a roadblock. They wanted to make the operating system more flexible for their end users and make advanced features more user-friendly. But this level of customization was simply not practical with GNOME. So in 2023, the Pop! OS team began developing their own desktop environment called Cosmic. Cosmic is built completely from scratch in Rust for performance and security. It has auto-tiling window management, customizable workspaces, a clean and modern UI, and focuses on a keyboard-driven workflow, emphasizing user productivity and efficiency. Now, it's important to note that Cosmic is still in early development, but you can start using it now by downloading the Pop! OS 24.04 alpha release. Currently, the ongoing work consists of performance improvements and feature additions. But once that's done, Cosmic is planned to be the default desktop environment for Pop! OS. In a blog post by System76, the company behind Pop! OS, it mentions that the engineers working on Cosmic loved working with Rust for its readability, stability, and memory safety. However, they also mentioned that because Rust is a newer language, the ecosystem is not as feature-rich as in other languages, which led them to contribute to open-source Rust libraries and build some custom Rust libraries of their own. Personally, I'm extremely excited to see more Rust adoption in the Linux ecosystem. And I'd be really interested in a deeper retrospective from the Cosmic team about their experience with Rust. So if you're watching this and you're on the Cosmic team, feel free to reach out to me. Now in general, I know that the Rust team has been actively working to make Rust integration with Linux easier. So I would expect the pace of adoption to only increase. But I want to know what you guys think. Have you tried out Cosmic? Did you have a good experience? And what do you think is the future of Rust adoption in the Linux ecosystem? Let me know by leaving a comment down below. If you need help becoming a Rust developer or are just curious about the opportunities, make sure to get your free four-day training at letsgetrusty.com bootcamp. Hope you've enjoyed the video and remember to stay rusty.